The shop is normally super busy, but uh, they knew we were coming, so they kind of blocked it off a little bit for us. But no, it's not normally this dead, all right? We just got a brand new Tesla Model X. Now the first thing a lot of people like myself want to know is how can I make sure I keep my car looking as clean and fresh and new as possible and not scratch and ruin the paint and look of the car. As you know, I'm all about that paint protection film. I got it on my Tesla Model Y and I love it. The bumper is clean at 50,000 miles with no rock chips. We also have dogs that jump in and out of the car, they're scratching the paint with their nails, and it didn't even phase the paint protection film. Not to mention it makes car washing super easy. Especially when you pay so much for a car, you don't want your Bruh. car to look horrible with rock chips and scratches. And also we can't forget all the Tesla haters out there who will go out of their way to key and scratch your car, which just makes no sense. It's also not cheap to repair. Some estimates for paint repairs can cost up to $2,000 and more. This is why I love my paint protection. However, with my Model X, I just wanted to be different. I wanted something unique, something with some color since I'm in Orange County and there are Teslas everywhere. I was seriously looking into vinyl, but I found out something crazy about vinyl which changed my mind, but I'll talk about that in a second. So like my Model Y where I wrapped it with a paint protection film called Expel Stealth, I wanted to get some advice from a pro. So I went to my go-to shop in Orange County called Extreme Edge Auto Details in Garden Grove. Not only that, I've talked to the owner, Alan, and he's the nicest and most humble person you'll ever meet. If there are any issues with the car, he takes care of it, and he really wants you to be happy with your car. Now, I will say, however, when you first get your car, I know the first thing you wanna do is get it protected and drive it straight to the shop, which I did with my Model Y. However, I recommend just taking a few days, wash the car first, drive it a little bit so you can see any issues with the car so you can submit your service request for any fit and finish issues. Because if you haven't seen my delivery day video, it's still about 100 miles before that fit and finish issue warranty expires. And when I was talking to someone at the Tesla service, they told me that if you put any sort of aftermarket stuff on like a wrap or a tint and you see an issue and you report it after, they may reject your request because even though you're under that 100 mile warranty, because they see aftermarket products on your car, they may reject the service request. Now, I haven't had any issues with my Model Y even though they knew it was wrapped, but it's just something you don't want to deal with. So having said that, Let's go ahead and head over to future Chris over at Extreme Edge and see how he's doing. So here I am at Extreme Edge Auto Detail in Garden Grove, located minutes from the 22 freeway. All you Oceans out there, it's super close to my favorite spot, Broad Arts. It has the best Vietnamese spring rolls. I just brought the Model X over. There was no paint protection or anything. It was so scary driving on the freeway. I was so scared I'd get like a rock chip or something. I just washed the car. I didn't do anything else to the car, but I wanted the experts over at Extreme Edge to take a look at the car, see how bad the notorious Tesla black paint is. And I wanted to talk to him about wrapping the car, something a little different, especially because like I said, I live in Irvine and there's Teslas everywhere. Alan works on Teslas all day long, so we're gonna see what he's up to and see if we can go ahead and have him take a look at our baby. So come on over. Good, good. I see you guys again. Working on another Tesla, I see. Yeah, Tesla all day, every day. Wow. Before I get into the Model X details, I just wanted to introduce you guys to the owner, Alan. Well, what do you do, Alan? Here, I'm pretty much, uh, I run the whole shop okay, so cool. with the help of John. Uh -huh. You know, I'm a head installer here. And then John, nice to meet you. Hey, good morning, Chris. <laughs> so, you, what, what do you do? So, I was hired about six months ago. I work as the office manager. Okay, nice. So, I, you know, I'm the first face customer C. Uh -huh. I reply to emails and I also manage the uh, social media accounts. Oh, cool. I came in because I knew you guys did Expel, which is like having a paint protection film. Like, what services do you guys offer? Yeah, so what I like to tell our clients is here at Extreme Edge, we specialize in paint protection. Uh -huh. And it comes in several forms uh -huh. of protecting your paint. Yeah. Which it comes in paint protection film. 
It also comes in ceramic or graphene coating, and it also comes in tinting, window tinting. We are authorized with two film manufacturers, um, but what we do most is a lot of expos. Uh -huh. And another brand is uh, Estec, or you call it uh, Estec. Estec. So you do that, you guys are certified installers for all that stuff? Yes, sir. So Alan started off with very humble beginnings back in 2013. Yeah. 2013, yeah. He started off, him and his, and his partner started off just doing mobile details. Cool. But then slowly, gradually, they start to expand. And how many years do you guys have experience doing all this now? Details Please. since 13, that's when we started in. Wow. With the paint protection, it's like a year after. It's He's not hands off with the projects. Yeah. He is the project lead. He's involved on that's every good. single vehicle whenever we're doing an installation. You're talking about the paint protection film. Mm -hmm. So a lot of people they consider it like a lot of people say, "Oh, did you wrap your Tesla?" What's like the difference between like a wrap and paint protection film? Because I know for me personally, like I want to do vinyl, but I don't know like what I should do. I'm trying to find a verb to replace the word wrapping because wrapping is synonymous with vinyl. Right. When people, when the customers, when they hear me use, I even have that trouble right. when I use the, the verb wrap or wrapping. Yeah. They, they automatically vinyl, think it's right. vinyl. Okay. And so one thing we want to make sure is our clients understand the difference that we are, it's not vinyl we're doing, it's paint protection film. The quality of film is much different from vinyl, and so thus it, it explains the cost difference as well. All right, so I moved on over to Alan's product over here. He has tons of stuff. Alan told me he wanted to kind of show me the differences between vinyl and paint protection film because, you know, I really wanted to do vinyl for my Model X because it was something different and there's like tons of vinyl colors. But I wanted to show you guys the differences on why you should choose a paint protection film over vinyl. All right, Chris, so we have here is a piece of vinyl, yeah. and this is um, Expo's uh, PPF. You can feel it, it's pretty, pretty thin, right? That's yeah, see this? I think that's the biggest thing too, because I wanted to do vinyl, but like I said, like I'm all about the road trips, and we're going a ton of road trips and rock chips. I mean, I hate the rock chips. I'll actually be holding this piece right okay, here. Okay, cool. And trying to poke through, just, um, okay. just a little so pressure. Poke? Yep. Oh my god. Right through, right? Wow, so easy. Doesn't take much uh, pressure. No effort at all. No effort. A lot of people tend to key test this for some reason, especially I'm sure you guys see like the news and stuff. So it seems like super easy to look at this. It just breaks so easily. Sorry, did you use right, this? No, 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 I don't do it. <laughs> So I think I forgot to mention, what's the difference between Expel Ultimate and Expel Stealth? Expel Ultimate is basically, let's say you have a gloss paint uh -huh. and you want to keep it glossy, uh -huh. you put on Expel Ultimate, keep your, the gloss of your paint. As you mentioned, um, Expel uh, Stealth, original paint here, okay. the bumper, we haven't had time to wrap. You can see okay. here, so it's actually gloss right here. Oh, it's glossy. And Expel yeah, yeah. Stealth will give you that matte look. That and matte does look. it, as far as protection goes? Same, same protection. Same thing? Nice. Okay, so we got the screwdriver here. All right. So you want me to puncture this bad boy, huh? Yes, sir. Okay, so I'm gonna go ahead and... <laughs> wow. You got a little more pressure. There, you there go. we go. Wow, that was tough. I'm not exaggerating or anything. With the vinyl, it was just like paper, to be honest. But this was, it's tough. Like you really gotta get you can in try there. to stretch it. And then see when I'm, the, this is what I'm scared of. People just getting the key and scratching that paint. It's like, I can't do it, you see that? Does it heal on its own or? I mean, I'm sure this won't heal, but. Yes, this won't heal, but to a certain extent. Okay, um, cool. You know, minor uh, micro scratches. It, it does it, heal. It does, yeah. It That's does awesome. to a certain extent. But why do so many people use vinyl then? If it's like so like, and it's, it's not cheap. Like I'm, right, right, I got right. some quotes from Orange County area. They were charging a lot just for a vinyl wrap. Um, vinyl, I would say for people that, you know, want to do like a color change, you know what, the main purpose is for color change, yeah. not for paint protection. Okay. You know, color change, typically you want to have on the car. One that offer vinyl will tell you, uh, you wouldn't have the vinyl on for no longer than three years. You're, they're doing it for aesthetic reasons, whereas paint protection film, that's like a lifetime investment. That's, you know, the plan is to keep that on the lifetime of the car. When I did my uh, Lexus, the, I think I did another installer like in mm -hmm. Ontario or something like that. They told me they don't recommend doing like just the first half of the hood with Expel. Yes. Instead of the whole thing. Yeah. And then I forgot why he didn't want me to do that. Any panel that you wrap, you know, you're going to get different sun exposure. So sun damage. Um, okay. It's going to be uh, different on panels. Um, with the wrap panels and unwrap panels. Because the Expel protects it from UV damage and stuff. But exactly. Then, okay, so then it col discolors the paint a little bit. Yep. But I mean, what do you guys recommend for most people? Because I know most people, they don't plan on doing their full entire car. So with new Tesla owners or new vehicle owners, when it comes to Tesla, yeah. when they know when their pickup date's gonna be, give us a call, book an appointment, because we're usually for a service like this, we're booked out with anywhere between three, three to four weeks. But to get the full trifecta coverage, yeah. what most of our customers like to do is 
paint protection film, uh -huh. and then on top of that, coating, okay. and it comes in the form of either ceramic or graphene, uh -huh. and window tinting. So sometimes covering the full car with PPF, uh -huh. with paint protection film, that's sometimes out of people's budget. Everything's just more expensive, and it's always gonna go up, probably, right? Our cost of doing business, you know, every year, it's, yeah. it goes up. Yeah, because you have to pay for rent, you have to pay for your team, it's not just like, you're just pocketing all the money. So um, the most popular option is, as far as uh, paint protection film goes, is doing the full front. The full front coverage. So full front is what? Like so full front covers the front bumper, okay? The headlights, the uh, side fenders, okay. the hood, and the, the side mirrors. If possible, we'll add we'll cover the do the door cup and the yeah. luggage area. Another advantage of covering us covering the uh, headlights is one, obviously it's gonna protect the headlights from the shell from chips. Yes. From rock chips but then also it protects it from oxidation and yellowing. Yellowing, I hated that. And it's cool that they all include it. They know, you guys know like what is the most areas prone yep. to getting damaged. So you just include it in the most basic exactly. packs. One thing that kind of stood out to me was that a lot of installers I noticed when they're wrapping a car, they like remove the front bumper, they move the rear bumper, they do all this stuff. Uh, as far as installation goes, like what do you guys do? Like why is it that you guys don't remove everything? versus other people and what do you recommend? Right, um, I would say for PPF, it's not necessary to remove um, all panels. Mm -hmm. I can get pretty much under um, here and hide the seams uh -huh. without having to remove all that. What we like to remove are the side moldings. Okay. Um, the cameras, we do take off the emblems oh. once we install, wrap. You remove the bumper, you can wrap it around, but chances are it's so it goes on so tight. Oh, it's so tight. Yeah, and then, you know, once you drive, the bumper, you know, the it plastic moves. gonna move. Yeah. So it's gonna ship your, your 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 films and it may ship the film and yeah. start pushing it out. Okay, so the way Alan and his team applies the paint protection film. So we do, like most shops, we do have the, the DAP machine, right? Which, well, that's a pre-cut one. Which pre-cuts it. Okay. But because Alan and his team have so much experience, especially dealing with Teslas, oh. they go into the software and they actually know where they can manipulate, man manually extend the edges. So they tell the, so it cuts out a larger piece and they know those are the areas they can tuck the, oh. the, the film. What's like the warranty? And do you guys like honor the warranty? What if like, what if something goes wrong? What happens? The film that we use, it comes with a 10 years warranty. Okay. And that 10 years warranty will warranty you against the lamination. And uh, the warranty does cover uh, staining, yellowing. The only thing it doesn't cover is physical damage. If okay. you kind of mess with the films or something hits it, tears yeah. the film, then that's the difference. That's the purpose of the film. Yeah. Exactly. That's what happened in my RX tore the film mm -hmm. from rock chips because it was like hailing rocks one morning. And I went back to the guy and I was like, hey, like, it's ripped. And then he was like, yes, what do you want me to do about it? You can, you can pay for a new one. And I was like, what? So as far as like ceramic coating goes, what is a ceramic coating? What do you guys have to offer? So here we offer two brands of coating. We have OptiCoat and Artishine. OptiCoat uses ceramic technology. Whereas Artishine, they have a, a line that offers ceramic and also a line that offers graphene. So I'm probably gonna do a separate dedicated video on this because it's super detailed. A lot of people are like, why can't I just do a ceramic coating on the car? instead of doing paint protection film. Do you guys recommend both? Definitely. They do two different things. Mm -hmm. PPF is to protect your car paint uh -huh. from physical damage, and coating is to protect that clear coat. And it also make your car a lot easier to wash. Every client, after they pick up their vehicle, we schedule a follow-up appointment. Why? It's because we bring in their car and we do a wash in front of them. Mm -hmm. And we demonstrate to them the advantage of having that coating. So they can literally wash their car inside a garage without a hose. Oh, cool. So we talked about all that stuff. I think it's time to talk about Stormbreaker, the Model X. I wanted something a little bit different this time. I mean, I trust Alan with everything. So, I mean, what, what do you got in store for me today? Well, Chris, so um, you put your trust in me. So you said, Alan, you know, give me something new. I don't want to be like every Tesla's out there. You want something different. So yeah, I have a sure. color for you. Oh, cool. I think you're going to like. So uh, let's check out the color. All right. Are you ready to see your new, uh -huh. new color? All right. Let's check All right. it out. Ooh, this is called Miami Blue. Um, Miami. This is S. Uh, from S Tech Film, this is actually color PPF. Did you know I said I wanted to wrap my car with vinyl, but I you know I need I need to protect it from the rock chip. So I was like, what am I gonna do? Vinyl and PPF? It's gonna cost me right. thirty thousand dollars. I didn't even know people offered that. So it's still as thick as a PPF. I believe it's a little thicker. It's thicker than a PPF. Thicker. Wow. Kittles? Did you the put that in there? No, I didn't. You should. You buy the film. It comes with it, so it's well, like... Wow, that's awesome. It came with candies. <laughs> Come on over here again if you guys want to take a look at it. I don't know how it'll look on the Model X, but it is nice. So it's gloss this time. 
Yes, sir. Nice. No map for me this time, huh? I can't believe this is going on the car. It's definitely a little bit crazy, but I mean... You don't like the, the change. I need, I need a change. Okay, so we have the S-Tech. It's Miami blue. It's a colored PPF, which is perfect for what I wanted. But I want to see, I mean, is it, is it thick? How, how good is it? Screwdriver. I'm excited. Test. I'm excited. They're working out. Okay, here we go. Oh, wow. So it's just like Expel. Oh, God. I think it's actually stronger than Expel. I I'm going to key the car. I'm keying it with a screwdriver and nothing. Unless I really get it there. Holy, man. This is tough. So, yeah. Definitely, if you want something a little bit different, Allen does sell... I know Expel doesn't have color PPF, right? The only color they have is uh, gloss black. If you wanted a colored PPF, if you want your car something a little bit different, Aztec has a bunch of colors that are super unique. So consider that, because I mean, we're going with this color, so we'll see how it looks. And I think you, we were gonna do some carbon fiber too on like, you know, change it up a little bit, not completely blue, but something a little different. <laughs> So right behind me is my new Tesla wrapped everything. I haven't seen it yet, so I'm super excited. I'm so curious to see how it looks. Cheese! What's up? Back. Oh my god, it looks so good. Check out your car, brother. Damn. Look at that. That color is sexy. Carbon fiber. So this is from S Tech, yeah? Yes, sir. Aztec forged carbon fiber. I mean, it looks beautiful. If you guys want the best of the best, make sure to see Alan because he could do everything crazy and make it look amazing. It is so sexy. Oh my God. I am at a loss for words. It looks so good. I mean, if you guys see me out there on the streets, make sure you guys honk, say hello. I'm, you'll know it's me. I haven't seen another Tesla Model X or a Tesla for that matter this color. So it looks so good. Holy. All right, guys, thanks so much for having me here. Make sure you guys like and subscribe to the channel. And of course, like and subscribe to their Instagram. And Alan is doing something super special for all you viewers out there. If you guys live in the area and you bring your car over, what, what, what are you doing? For any package that you go with, as far as PPF, uh -huh. we'll also include the rear door impact area. It's this little triangle piece right here that Tesla also sells. Uh -huh. um, basically what it does, it, it, this is your um, another high impact piece right here. That little piece right here will protect a lot of that rock chip coming from your front tires, kicking up to these rear doors. Wow. And then you're going to include that? Include that in the So air. make sure you say every day Chris sent you, otherwise he's not going to include it, all right? Anyways, all right. guys, thanks so much. I appreciate it. All right. Thank you, Chris. We got Alan here. We got Johnny Tsunami over here. <laughs> I appreciate you guys. Thanks so much.